What's up, Chicklets fans? Biz here, just hanging out in our hotel. Beautiful hotel, too. Crescent Court in, nice. uh, in Dallas. Let's hope you guys don't post this before we leave because we could have a few stalkers coming to try to bang Rudy, our camera guy here, because we know he ain't getting kills on the Hidged app. Um, great day. Just, you know, we're easing into this uh, Winter Classic. Uh, we had two interviews today, and then, of course, we reported a podcast, our first after uh, the JR situation. So it, it was great to be back in the saddle because we did have the best of episode on the 26th. Uh, great job, Grinnell, if you want to zoom in on him. He's feeling very confident with that new Rolex on his wrist. You fucking Ooh. better be. Um, but it's great. I'm, I'm excited. We're going to get some other people because a lot of, a lot of uh, personalities in the hockey world are landing into Dallas tomorrow morning, which will be Monday. And uh, it's back to work. We got a sandbagger invitational coming. Uh, we're not going to tell you our two guests, but uh, I would imagine they work very well together considering they played overseas in an international tournament together. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That's a little tip for you. And uh, just uh, round out the weekend with RA, hopefully hitting puck line Jesus at the Winter Classic game itself. Again. Yeah. Again. Yeah, we'll be rooting for it. Can't change a winner, you know what I mean? Last year we got the puck line Jesus. Actually, that's where the puck line Jesus was invented in Chicago or well, Notre Dame last year. I looked up, so I'm giving one of these. <laughs> Usually touchdown, but for, for that day it was on uh, puck line Jesus and it's taken off. Here we are a year later and it's uh, become a thing. All time video. Puck line Jesus, baby. Bruins are rolling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got the W. So, hey, let's, let's go Stars uh, Wednesday. So today I went and... Um, I was graciously and nice enough to go get the group sandwiches because there's no food open at the golf course. So I get everyone's order and Biz doesn't text me back, shocker. And I called him. I'm like, yo, Biz, what's up? He's like, yo, bro, what's up? I'm like, I'm just walking over to Whole Foods. What kind of sandwich do you want? He's like, um, uh, like, like the, you should, the mouse was running like in the wheel. Is that the term in his brain? He's like, uh, I don't, I don't know, man, something healthy. I'm like, Biz. What's your sandwich order? Have you ever given someone a sandwich? He goes, dude, uh, it's overwhelming me right now. It, like, I don't know, turkey or chicken? Like, that's pretty healthy. I go, what do you want for toppings, dude? What is going on? He goes, dude, I don't know. I'm not good at stuff like this. I go, ordering a sandwich, Biz? So I ended up getting him an awful order because he didn't give me anything. So I, I just so why he don't answer? He don't order his own food? He's, he's, he's a, uh, I don't know. He's How a do special you just, guy. He's a special human. Like he could, he could figure out how he wants to do like a live show podcast in ten minutes, but he can't give you a sandwich order. That's correct. Today we're going to play golf. Uh, so this is a nice course. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful. They got a, a PGA Tour event at this place, Trinity Forest. I believe it's the place where Tony Romo, yeah. like shot two under the first round of the, the PGA Tour event he got to play in. Yeah. So. Um, we have uh, two buddies of ours that also played in the NHL, the guy behind you and another guy, Tim Stapleton, and me and Biz Nasty. Um, <laughs> I want to meet this and his, Biz and his, Nasty. Oh, yeah, you should just, you should just <laughs> wait at the course. And then is he going to be in that other suburban that just He is, he is. Damn, I should have drove faster. I know, you, he, you'd, be, you'd be loving him right now. You're going to push the seat back even more than you did for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, what'd you use? Synergy, <laughs> Jimmy, what'd you use? Bauer, Biz, what'd you use? <laughs> <laughs> An axe. <laughs> what a trophy, though. We are in Dallas. Uh, we're about to go hit some balls. We are doing another sandbagger invitational. Biz is the sandbagger. It is Ryan Whitney and Paul Bissonette versus Jimmy Hayes and Tim Stapleton. Uh, we're going over to the range right now, and I believe there are some rumors that Jordan Spieth is hitting balls in the range right now. So I'm excited to see if this is true. If By the way, let me get ahead of this. Biz is in shorts and I'm in a winter hat so I can just see the chirps coming. I got two things. One, I'm soft as warm butter, so I'm cold. Biz is an animal. And two, any single time I have the option of wearing a winter hat to cover up my satellite dish ears, I'm doing it. So lay off me, everyone. Who's teeing off over there, you think? Uh, that's Jordan Spieth, uh, three-time major winner. Um, I think he only needs the uh, PGA Championship to be a Grand Slam winner. I don't know how many guys have done that, maybe five. So it's pretty cool that he's here. Biz says, should we go say hi to him? I go, do you know him? He's like, no. I go, no, I'm all set with that then. I mean, I really don't want to go up to Jordan Sweet as he's practicing. I said it would be similar in a way of just going into like a Rangers practice and saying hi to guys. Like he's actually doing something right now, Biz. Look at this, look at this, get, get this. Let's do 
Hey, we big. might hey, we might be in trouble. Why? They gave me like I, these are not I'm not used to hitting these like nice clubs. These are like blades, aren't they? That's all they had. This course is No, too those nice. are um we those need, are like, decently the, forgiving. Those are those are considered middle it's it's not a blade. I don't know if you guys heard, but Jordan Speed is here trying to fucking rain on our parade. I actually think that before Hazy got here, he was trying to be the uh, Stapleton's partner. That's what I've been hearing. So when I hit a golf shot, I, I don't even, I don't want to really go past here because then a lot of problems happen when you, right, Yeah, it's a great call. But this guy was like, like he was like this. And then we went through his whole fucking like, like a, like a fucking dragon, man. <laughs> Yes, I took mushrooms before this. I was gonna say, oh, are we on a microdose right now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you microdosing? No, no, I took a little too much. <laughs> Macrodose? <And, laughs> my partner's took too many shrooms before the match. Yeah, but hey. Guys, you have no excuse. My partner's on shrooms. <laughs> but he's like, he's like, Who yo, did... look at the color of the flags Shut out the there. I'm like, no, it's I blue. Saying, I was saying when Speed came through, it looked like a fucking dragon. Anyway. So the first um, Sandbagger Invitational, we were lucky enough to have Sidney Crosby and cool. Nathan McKinnon. Yeah. So really people, up, people, really so people said, just, what are you going to get? McKin uh, McDa yeah. McDavid and Dreitzeidel? Or uh, maybe you're going to get Doughty and Jeff Carter? No, we got Jimmy fun. Hayes and Tim Stapleton. <laughs> it's the morning of the live show. We are heading over to the venue to check it out, make sure there's no problems. Uh, last year, uh, one year to the day uh, since we had our... Uh, I don't want to call it an epic meltdown, but it was a pretty it was a pretty bad display of a live show in Chicago last year. We're gonna rebound this year. What exactly what happened? Uh, we hired this company to do the audio and they just didn't bring enough big enough speakers so no one could really hear the audio, which was a problem because we had a sick crew of uh, guests there. But we're gonna be better this year. We have live event Lisa helping us, who's been awesome. We have an unbelievable venue at the Rustic. Uh, we also have New Amsterdam, Pink Whitney, there's going to be a ton of that there, we're giving away tickets, so I'm excited. A little nervous though, I'm a little nervous. So I look nervous, Rudy? No, I'm not nervous at all. That's how you get off live shows, let's do it. Johnny Carson, who else is live? Dave Letterman, <laughs> all those famous guys, I'm ready to go, look at hands not shaking. Oprah? Oprah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man, I'm just going to treat it just like we do a, a regular show. I mean, the audience, we will be able to see them and hear them, but... To me, it's just a different type of show. I'm ready to go. Just trying to get the aesthetic right. It's so important. The aesthetic is so important. You have to have good feng shui. I can't stress that enough. You need good feng shui for a live show, and that's why we brought in live so events. What about like? What about this? No, dude. No, no. <laughs> feng shui. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome into Welcome to the first ever Bob Bob. It's good to us live show here well, in the Dallas. Second, the second live show. Well, I, that's what I was going to say. The first, yeah. actual, the first was an abortion, so yeah. I don't know if we want to say. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. I don't know how abortion joke Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I know. Me, not meaning it that way, but. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, so welcome in. We'll talk. I think that's a great way to open it up. We'll talk about last year's show. Um, let's say, yeah, say, let's say yeah, the boys first. Say hi to the guys. We'll go around. I haven't played golf in a month and a half, and then you go out there and you, it's like it's hard, right? So then I knew once I played once and I got some feels. Today I would light it up. I go, I'm going to play. Fuck this. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. What's up, gang? Ari here. We're backstage in the green room at the Rustic in Dallas, getting ready for our second live show. I think it's going to go much better than the first. We got maybe the all-time favorite guest here, <laughs> yeah. Tim Stapleton, our buddy from Boston, Jimmy Hayes. What's up, boys? You ready to rock and roll or what? Uh, yeah, this will be so. good. Yeah. Yeah. I, gotta get, I gotta get my uh, followers up to Stapy's status so I can start being them. a big dog. <laughs> we gotta keep an eye on his forehead, make sure there's no red dots from Soviet spies looking to whack him. Oh. But we're ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Perfect. Yeah. Great job, Mike. You really I'm directed. I'm a fucking director. Yeah, you it's directed. the first of Feng Shui, now the directing. Let's go. <laughs> I gotta get ready, Jagger style. As in, right, like, hit the play Let's button. Go. Yeah, Let's go. He's, he's gotta hit play. Ready? Why? We have yeah. to walk 15 yards. Well, he's gonna have to we'll play do, a then, then the Hey, we're supposed to do some, go. like, cool know, Kanye hey, West hey, fucking hey, we're concert supposed, thing. Right now, we're like, no, we're like, NBA goes, oh, I only care about myself. Oh, pass me the ball. Oh, I got to foul. Let's get ready, like, Jagger in the 72 tour. 
switchblade bumps. Okay, all right. <laughs> hey, I'll let's have a good show, boys. I'm yeah, kid, let's I'm go. Kidding. We're good. I'm kidding. I don't have a switchblade. Let's go. I feel like uh, good fellas. Walking through the kitchen. I got a joke in there already. Oh, dude. Were you grumpy in high school? Is that why they call you Gramps? No, because I looked old, not because I was grumpy. <laughs> okay. It would have been grump if they called, thought I was grumpy. Alrighty. Pro wrestling and hockey are very similar. Like, once you see it live, you're hooked. I mean, TV does it no justice. Alright, I'm throwing rock. Yeah, and you go one, two, three, shoot. There's none of this. People who do one, two, shoot, you're crazy. <laughs> One, two, three, shoot, I'm throwing rock. Okay. Right, one, two, three, shoot. I'm throwing rock again. One, two, three, shoot. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's I'm throwing, I'm throwing paper. I'm throwing paper. I promise you I'm throwing paper. One, two, three, shoot! Wow! <laughs> Congratulations. Can I say I was going to throw a paper and another one? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you, guys. To Dylan, D-Y-L-A. Say that again. Empty the bottle. <laughs> 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 it's Just got done on the live show, Unreal Crowd. Can't thank him enough for how many people showed up. Um, I think guys crush it. I mean, Ari was a little quiet at the beginning. He got going. Biz was solid, just like grinning the whole time like this. Somebody told him to open his eyes, which was funny. But then uh, Jimmy Hayes, Tim Stapleton, they were hilarious. They added a lot to the show. And Eric Young, WWE wrestler, was, uh, was a blast. So first live show, or second, but first one, the audio worked. Hey, show. did you have anything to say about Avicii? <laughs> No, no, uh, that's R.I.P. That's bad on me. I did not know. I like EDM music, not that much. What's up, bro? How you doing? Did you see the ice girls? I did. I was wondering. I was wondering. Hey, so uh, is this thing rolling? Yeah. You can you just so say the, where we're at? Dallas, Dallas Stars ice girls. Some of the best in the league, if not the best in the league. They have the on ice girls, and they got the show going on up top. And hey, man. That's what I love about Texas. They don't give a fuck about all this shit changing at other states. They're sticking to the cheerleaders. And uh, they all signed a calendar for me one year because I was pumping up with social media. I still have it. <laughs> Above your toilet? <laughs> yeah, fit. yeah, it's on the toilet side, so I just... Yeah, never mind. I won't go into details. Miz and I were just saying, if you're getting all the uh, visuals around here, uh, Texas State Fair, it's bumping. It is genius because I don't think ever before in one of these games they've had a situation where it's not just tailgating in a parking lot. Yeah, plenty of stuff to do. It's family friendly. Why flip a chicken, dude? Family friendly. I would have played flip a chicken if we weren't getting dragged to pay quick million. I don't even know what that is. Flip, flip a chicken. You flip it and land it in the frying pan. <laughs> dude, then they'll, then they'll put, Duh. Then they'll put, uh, oh, what do you know? What's that? What's um, that? Hey, I would shoot the hoops. Does anyone That's know who that is? I would, I would do shoot the hoop. That logo looks familiar, Rudy. <laughs> In the hoop. <laughs> Day three at the Winter Classic. We're here at the Pink Whitney Pavilion. Uh, the Winter Classic's today. The boys are about to do another live show. That's two live shows in two days. 
the work just doesn't stop for Chicklet. I mean, look at this place. It's beautiful. Tons of Stars fans here, though. Can we pan out to the Stars fans? Lots of Stars fans. I thought, I thought there would be more Predators fans, but another successful week for Chicklets and what can you say? We're a wagon. He's like saying, you gotta keep it PG. Everyone, uh, it's a PG show. Like, but yeah, I worked at NHL Network for two solid seasons, never dropped a swear once. I know how to control the crowd. You're on, but it's not hot. Oh, okay. When will it become hot? Here to hear these couple guys up here from. When Biz uses it as a sex uh, Guys, it's supposed to be PG. PG. That's PG. PG, he's reminding me again, get him. Yeah. PG, Biz. PG, no, Biz. This is a PG thing. <laughs> All right, well, let's get this thing started with these guys. First up, Paul, this is that, Biz. Come on up. Oh, wow. yeah. I wish there was actually hot knives. You could just commentate from the side. Like, right. you, know, you, know, you just commentate like that. Ryan Whitney, come on up. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Thanks for showing up. I know you're all hung over today, so we appreciate it immensely.